Hi, you guys. Welcome back. And of course, if you are new to Meaningful Motivations with Tracy Erickson, welcome. My name is Tracy Erickson. And in this video, we are going to talk about the magic of colors. So stay tuned. The general idea behind this video is that colors actually have an effect on people, but usually the effect that colors have on your consciousness is an unconscious thing. So in this video, we're going to go over all the different colors, how they affect your consciousness so that you can begin to use colors consciously in your life. I have told you guys about this in a previous video, but I'm going to say it again. But the University of Iowa actually has pink locker rooms for the opposing football team. And the reason behind this is because the coach at the time when the bathroom was designed this way believed that just making these players be completely engulfed in the color pink would cause them to be more docile and peaceful rather than competitive and ready to play a football game. Now, some ways that you can consciously use color to affect your life would be in the clothing that you wear, in the candles that you use around your home, in your home decor. It would be um, the colors of the crystals that you choose. There are so many ways that using color with intention can bring more meaning into your life. So it all just depends on what it is that you want to manifest through color magic. So I just want to start by going over each of the seven chakras and what each chakra represents as far as color, but also as far as what that chakra is controlling. The root chakra is associated with the color red. And the root chakra is in control of how you feel about your security in the world, about your finances, family, and your home life. This is all about everything that is very material in your life. So things on this physical plane. Your sacral chakra is associated with the color orange, and this chakra um, actually controls your creativity. So if your sacral chakra is open and flowing, you can, you can be very creative in your thinking and in how you express yourself. Not only that, but you're very connected to your sexual energy, and you feel very attractive. Um, and then we have the solar plexus chakra associated with the color yellow. And this chakra is all about how you feel about yourself. This chakra connects with your inner confidence. Um, this one has everything to do with your sense of self and how you feel about yourself. Next, we have the heart chakra. This is associated with the color green. And of course, the heart chakra is definitely going to be uh, controlling relationships in your life. So how you interact with other people. This is a chakra and color, which is connected to your passions in life and also to healing. Then you have the throat chakra associated with the color blue. This is all about communication and self-expression and truth. And then we have the third eye chakra associated with indigo. And this chakra is all about your inner eye, your creative imagination, and being able to create mental images and see yourself fulfilling goals and things like that. And finally, we have the crown chakra associated with the color purple. And the crown chakra is 
all about your connection to source, to spirit. So if you have a very open crown chakra, then you probably uh, pray often and you have a deep connection with who you really are. And in witchcraft, witches actually rely heavily on colors to express their intentions or themes in spellcrafting. So in witchcraft, the colors are definitely important. So um, as far as that goes, red is always used to help with intentions that are focused on courage, passion, and strength. The energy of red increases someone's attractiveness and can keep enemies at bay. Then we have the orange, which helps with business matters, uh, memory, stamina, and if you need to find lost property, uh, decrease fear, if you want to settle legal issues, have success in a new job, that is when you would use orange in your spell work. Next, we have yellow. If you want to use yellow in spell casting, that helps with creativity, learning, concentration, increases energy, provides protection. And this color is also helping you with matters concerning the head, like mood swings or headaches and things along those lines. Now, if you use green in spell casting, then that would be for spells that have to do with money, prosperity, success, good luck. And also green is very helpful when it comes to career and fertility as well. Then we have blue. Blue stands for truth, wisdom, stable emotions. Anytime you want to deepen meditation or connect with your own psychic insight. Or if you need protection or more patience, blue is the color to use in your spells. Next, we have the purple. So witchcraft uses purple to promote any kind of peace, healing, spiritual protection, psychic visions. And it's also helpful for anyone who wants to practice astral projection and just for everyday ritual use. So purple can also help with boosting business, searching for a new job, or if you want to acquire more influence or have better investments. Now, those are not the only colors used in spell work. We also have pink. And pink works well for compassion and spiritual healing. And it can help to mend broken relationships. Um, also, pink can be used for any relationship that's existing or to attract love. Now, many times, witches might use the color brown to tune into the natural world, into nature. So brown actually helps with concentration, decision-making, uh, matters related to friendship, and any kind of relationship with animals. And a lot of times, the spellcasters will use white because white calls on angels and spirit guides. It inv invokes those who have passed encourages harmony and relationships or in the environment. And white is a purifying color, which can purify your home. White is also like a blank canvas. So you can use white in any spell work or ritual. And then we have gold. So the color gold is used for obviously money spells. Um, it's good for competition, to improve intelligence, to promote healing and health. And just for general rejuvenation of your mind, body, and spirit. And then we have silver, which boosts your psychic abilities, including intuition. And silver decreases the negative energy of the mind or the environment and can help you connect with Mother Nature or the Goddess. Now, black is used in spell work sometimes, but it's usually avoided because Black is commonly used in dark magic. So any much more experienced witch can use black to banish something negative. Um, so if you know how to use the color black, um, then it can be used in beneficial ways as well. Witchcraft is not the only place in spirituality or religion where you find colors. 
So in The Secret Teachings of All Ages by Manly P. Hall, um, in a section on solar colors, it states here, in the original symbolism of the Christian church, colors were for, of first importance and their use was regulated according to carefully prepared rules. Since the Middle Ages, however, the carelessness with which colors have been employed has resulted in the loss of their deeper emblematic meanings. In its primary aspect, white or silver signified life, purity, innocence, joy, and light. Red, the suffering and death of Christ and his saints, and also divine love, blood, and warfare or suffering. Blue, the heavenly sphere, and the states of godliness and contemplation. Yellow or gold is glory, fruitfulness, and goodness. Green, fecundity, youthfulness, and prosperity. Violet, humility, deep affection, and sorrow. Black, death, destruction, and humiliation. In early church art, the colors of robes and ornaments also revealed whether a saint had been martyred, as well as the character of the work that he had done to deserve canonization. I use color magic all the time when I pick new crystals to work with, because not only are you looking at the energy of the structure of the crystal itself, but also the color that the crystal is showing you. Because as we've been explaining, color can bring out different intentions. Color can heal you in certain ways. And all of this is happening subconsciously simply by seeing the color. Also, different cultures share beliefs with different colors. So every single country has their own flag, which also has their own colors. So similar to what the secret teachings of all ages was saying about the different saints wearing different color robes, depending on the reason for their sainthood, it's kind of like that. So people, when they're doing rituals or whatever, they usually like to wear a certain color to bring out those intentions or themes in that particular ritual. And this has happened throughout time. So now that you are a little more aware of the magic that it lies in colors themselves, um, now you can begin to use stronger intentions as you choose your colors, not only for your clothing that you want to wear, um, but also the colors in your home decorating, the color of your car, um, the color of anything that you want to pick out. So basically, the more awareness that you bring to your color choices, the stronger you are creating that intention for yourself, whatever that intention might be. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. So if you like this video, be sure to click that like button and share this video with all your friends out there. And of course, if you're a viewer but not yet a subscriber, I would love for you to click subscribe down below. And once you have subscribed, be sure to turn on that notification bell if you would like to be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time with me. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.